Hello everyone, welcome to our introduction video on business data processing and DBMS fundamentals. Today we are going to explore how business handle and organize their data and the role of database management system or DBMS in this process. Don't worry if you are not from computing background, we will keep things simple and straightforward. Before going to whole discussion, kindly look onto the syllabus for Unit 3 of Fundamental of Information Technology Part 2B that is Business Data Processing and DBMS Fundamentals. And here the syllabus for Unit 3 that combine the concept of Business Data Processing and DBMS in together. And now the question is what is Business Data Processing and what is Database Management System? and how DBMS helps in business data processing. So in a single line, the business data processing refers to the activities involved in handling and managing data within an organization. And what is database management system? A DBMS is a software that allows you to manipulate, maintain, report and relate data. And how DBMS helps? Understanding DBMS fundamentals is essential for effective business data processing, enabling organizations to manage data efficiently and make informed decisions. Let's start with business data processing. Imagine a big office where handling lots of information every day is crucial. Business data processing is the way we manage all that information efficiently. First, there is a data collection, which is like gathering information from various sources. For example, a store collects data every time a customer makes a purchase. Next is data storage, where we keep the collected information safe and organized, much like storing documents in filing cabinet. Then we have data manipulation, which means processing the data to make it useful. For instance, this could be calculating the total sale for the day. Finally, there is data dissemination, which involves sharing the processed information with the people who need it like manager or team members. This ensure everyone has the information they need to make informed decision and keep the business running smoothly. Next, let's talk about the data storage hierarchy. It's like organizing files in a very structured way. Understanding the data storage hierarchy is crucial because it provides a structured way to organize and manage data efficiently. This hierarchy starts from the smallest unit, a bit, and builds up to more complex structures like database. By studying this hierarchy, we learn how to optimize data storage and retrieval, ensuring that information is stored in an organized and accessible manner. This knowledge helps in designing effective data system, improving data management practices, and ensuring that data can be efficiently processed and utilized in various applications. Overall, it forms the foundation for understanding more complex data management concepts and systems. Here you can see storage hierarchy in ascending order with simple understandable example. That is bit, the smallest, smallest piece of data like tiny switch that can be on or off, a byte, a group of 8 bit like a small piece of information, field a specific piece of data like a person's name, record a collection of related fields like all the details about one student, file a collection of records 
like a folder with all student information and next one is database a collection of related files like a whole filing cabinet full of folders now come into the method of organizing data why data organizing methods are so important for study purpose so understanding data organizing methods helps you organize and find data efficiently just like knowing different way to organize your books files or even your kitchen it ensure you can quickly and easily retrieve information when you need it making task faster and more manageable this is important for everything from personal record keeping to running large business smoothly now we can see how do we organize all this data here are some simple methods one is sequential organization so what is sequential organization we can see in simple example imagine a long line of people waiting for movie ticket one behind the other this is how sequentially organized organization work storing data in a specific order one after the other it's simple and easy to understand but can be can be slow if you need to find something in the middle or end of the line and what is indexed organization think of a book with an index at the back instead of flipping through every page to find a topic you look at the index which tells you exactly where to go this method uses an index to quickly locate specific information saving time and effort and third one is direct access imagine you have a magic box where you can instantly grab any item without digging through everything else direct access allows you to jump straight to the data you need making it very fast and efficient let's move on to the file type and file organization understanding file types and file organization is important because it helps us to manage and retrieve information efficiently much like much like organizing physical documents different file types such as text files for readable content and binary files for images or programs have specific uses and storage requirements knowing how to organize these files effectively is crucial sequential file store data in a set of order making them straightforward but sometimes slow to search through index files use an index like books index for quick location of specific information and the direct access files allows you to jump directly to the data you need much like turning to a specific chapter in a book without flipping through every page studying these concepts ensure that we can store and find information quickly and easily which is essential for both everyday task and complex business operations next topic is file utilities to manage our files we use various file utilities why it is important studying various file utilities is essential for effectively managing business data and using database management system file utilities are like handy tools that helps us handle files in different ways file creation tools allows us to create new file like starting a new document or a spreadsheet file maintenance tools help us update or delete information ensuring our data stays current and relevant file backup tools are crucial 
for making copies of files, protecting our information from being lost due to accident or technical issues. Finally, file recovery tools help restore lost or damaged files, ensuring we can recover important data if something goes wrong. Understanding and using these utilities helps business keep their data organized, secure and accessible, which is vital for smooth operations and decision making. Now let's talk about organizing database. Studying how to organize a database is crucial because it helps business manage vast amount of data efficiently, much like a super organized filing cabinet. The database structure refers to how data is systematically arranged, often in table similar to, to a spreadsheet making it easy to locate and use and database design involves planning how data will be stored and accessed which include defining table and the relationship between them ensuring the data is logically connected and easily retrievable non-text database handle non-textual data like image and videos expanding the types of data businesses can manage and archiving database that involves securely storing old or infrequently used data ensuring it can be accessed when needed without cluttering active databases understanding these concepts is essential for effective data management enabling business to keep their data organized accessible and useful for decision making and operations. Finally, let's talk about the database management system. A DBMS is a software that helps you to create, manage and use database efficiently. Studying database management system is essential for anyone involved in business data processing because it provides the tools needed to handle data efficiently and securely. A DBMS is like a powerful assistant that help you to create, manage and use database. It defines the data structure that ensuring your data in organized in a logical and accessible way. It manages data storage. so. Your information is stored safely and can be retrieved easily. With data manipulation features, you can add, update, delete and retrieve data weekly, making everyday tasks faster and more accurate. Data security features protect your sensitive information from unauthorized access, ensuring privacy and compliance with regulations. Data integrity checks help keep your data accurate and consistent, preventing errors. Lastly, backup and recovery tools safeguard your data by creating backup and providing ways to recover lost or corrupted data. Understanding and using a DBMS is crucial for efficient data management, helping business make informed decisions, protect their information and maintain smooth operations. To wrap up with these things, let's look at simple example of database design. Understanding examples of database design like a university system management is crucial for grasping the practical application of business data processing and DBMS concepts. In this example, the database would include table such as students, course and instructors. Each table has field for specific information such as student name, course title and instructor details. The relationship between these tables 
such as linking students to their enrolled courses and instructors to the course they teach illustrate how data can be interconnected and managed efficiently by studying this example beginning students can see how abstract concept like table field and relationship are applied in real real world scenarios it helps them understand how to organize data logically making it easier to retrieve and use this knowledge is fundamental for creating effective database that support business operations improve data accessibility and enhance decision making process understanding this example bridges the gap between the theoretical knowledge and practical applications making the concept more re relatable and easier to comprehend and in summary what we can say the video introduces the fundamental of business data processing and database management system in a straightforward manner ideal for those without computing backgrounds it explain in briefly how business manage data through collections storage manipulation and dissemination the data storage hierarchy is broken down from bits to database and various methods of organizing data such as sequential index and direct access are covered this video also discuss different file types and organization methods along with essential file utilities like creation maintenance backup and recovery key aspects of organizing a database including structure design and archiving are highlighted the role of dbms in data definition storage manipulation security integrity and recovery is explained an example of a university management system illustrate practical database design and overall the video provide a clear and comprehensive introduction to this essential concept that's brief introduction to business data processing and dbms fundamentals in our upcoming videos we will dive deeper into each of these topics thank you for watching and stay tuned for more